Lucy, a 25-year-old American woman, lives and studies in Taipei, Taiwan. She falls into a trap set by her new boyfriend, who works for Mr. Jang, a Korean mob boss and drug dealer. Lucy unknowingly becomes a drug courier, delivering a valuable synthetic drug named CPH4 in a briefcase to Mr. Jang. When her boyfriend is killed before her eyes, Lucy is captured. To transport the drug to Europe, a bag of it is surgically inserted into her abdomen, along with three other unwitting drug mules. While Lucy is held captive, one of her captors kicks her in the stomach, accidentally breaking the drug bag inside her. This causes a surge of the drug into her system, giving her extraordinary abilities like telepathy, telekinesis, and the power to mentally time travel. She can also control her pain and discomfort, among other newfound skills. Lucy uses her powers to overpower and kill her captors, then escapes. Even when shot during her escape, she can ignore the pain and remove the bullet from her body effortlessly. Lucy went to the nearby Tri-Service General Hospital to have the bag of drugs taken out of her abdomen. By then, she had developed the ability to overhear nearby conversations and understand all languages. The surgery was successful, and the operating doctor warned Lucy about the dangerous nature of the drug, which was similar to a substance administered to fetuses during prenatal development and its harmful side effects. Feeling her increasing physical and mental capabilities, Lucy went back to Mr. Jang's hotel, took down his bodyguards, confronted Mr. Jang, and used her telepathic powers to extract the locations of all three drug mules from his mind. In her apartment that she shares with others, Lucy starts looking into her condition. She reaches out to a famous scientist and doctor named Professor Samuel Norman. He's known for his studies on how animals use more of their brain and his ideas about life having two main goals, either living forever or having babies. Norman suggests that when humans use 20% of their brain, they gain control over their own body, and at 40%, they might even control other people. Lucy thinks Norman's research could hold the answer to her problem. After Lucy talks to the professor and shows him what she can do, she goes to Paris. There, she gets in touch with a police captain named Pierre Del Rio to assist her in locating the three remaining drug packets. The police in Taiwan are searching for Lucy because of what she did at the hospital. To avoid being caught, she changes her appearance and uses her abilities to control both people and animals, like the drug-sniffing dogs. Lucy figures out that she needs the drug to stay alive and to gain more time. Without it, she believes she'd likely die within 24 hours. During the plane journey, she begins to fall apart as her cells become unstable after just a sip of champagne, rendering her body unsuitable for cell reproduction. Only by taking more CPH4 can she prevent her complete breakdown. Her abilities grow, allowing her to mentally incapacitate armed police and members of a Korean drug gang. With the assistance of Del Rio, Lucy retrieves the drug and rushes to meet Professor Norman, agreeing to share all she has learned after he emphasizes the importance of passing on knowledge in life. Jang and the gang also seek the drug, leading to a shootout with the French police. In the professor's lab, Lucy talks about time, life, and how people's humanity changes how they see things. She asks to be injected with all three bags of CPH for left. As a result, her body starts to change into a black substance, spreading over computers and objects in the lab. She turns them into a new kind of supercomputer, shaped uniquely, which will hold all her expanded knowledge of the universe. She starts a journey through time and space, traveling back to the ancient past where she meets Lucy, humanity's oldest ancestor. They touch fingertips. Meanwhile, in the lab, Mr. Jang breaks in with a gun aimed at Lucy's head. He fires, but just before the bullet hits, Lucy reaches full mental capacity and vanishes into the fabric of time and space. Only her clothes and a strange black supercomputer remain. Del Rio comes in and shoots Mr. Jang, killing him. Professor Norman then accepts a sleek black flash drive from Lucy's advanced supercomputer, just before it vanishes into dust. Del Rio inquires about Lucy's whereabouts, but before Professor Norman can respond, Del Rio's phone receives a text message, I am everywhere. The scene shifts to an overhead shot as Lucy's voice declares, Life was bestowed upon us a billion years ago. Now, you understand what to do with it. Thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe to watch more of these videos.